Good morning, good afternoon, um, depending on which part of the world you are, which I hope uh, one of you will <coughs> be far flung. Uh, this is um, the London, Leiden and Connect conference, um, much postponed, first play, planned um, for May, I think, 2020, um, when the first Erasmus first popped up very, very briefly in the negotiations between the European Union and Brexit, uh, and then kept on disappearing. So the main aim of the uh, part of the conference and then bound up with um, what is then following um, is to um, really explain what we need are a lot of facts as to what is happening as regards the disappearance of Erasmus, which of course is not some um, one, sorry? Yeah. The, the disappearing of, of uh, disappearance of Erasmus, which is uh, a long drawn out um, event, of course, because it, it will take several years and it is still with us. Uh, and then to be replaced by Turing, which I think for very many people are still, is still a, very much of a mystery. Um, as you may have noticed, I am not Spiros Maniatis, the director of Bickel. Um, he uh, unfortunately has been laid low by his booster vaccination. I always think that's quite good because it's been happening around me and it does show that the thing is actually working. So he will feel miserable for a day or two and he may join us by Zoom to just look in, but uh, he can't welcome us. Um, I'm Margot Horsbull, I'm certainly known to about half the audience, uh, and uh, I have been a very long-standing uh, fellow of the British Institute. Uh, I'm sort of an honorary staff member as well, really, um, the, um, because, you know, I've been connected with them for a very long time uh, and generally uh, act as the institutional memory. Um, so, um, Spiros asked me this morning to just represent him in just welcoming you all to this conference, which of course was not intended to be with two and a half people, um, thank heavens, to be here, uh, and the rest on Zoom, but there we are, and I hope to meet very many, we are very approachable, very many of you, if you're anywhere near us, in person or by Zoom. Um, the, the first half of the um, meeting is going to be devoted to really a lot of fact-finding. Um, our first speaker is going to be Jacqueline Miner, who I hope has a, a lot of information to give us on, on what has actually been happening um, with the Erasmus and Turing program. I have a lot of questions myself. The format of the meeting is that uh, anyone of the Zoom audience who wishes to ask questions because this, this meeting is very much to be meant to be interactive. Um, and so whenever anybody wants to ask a question, once the speaker has introduced the subject, uh, just put up your hands and my very trusty Liam, um, who is running the whole thing technically, um, I don't understand how, but he, you know, he's very good at this, uh, will then um, get the relevant speaker to, um, to, to speak on, on the Zoom. I think that's all I need to say at this point. I'm going to be here most of the day, so um, and I can't answer any questions apart from what, as regards the organization. Yulinda Beckerai, who is my co-presider, um, or whatever you call it, um, we are both representing Bingham, Bickle, and uh, she in particular will introduce uh, the second part of the meeting, which is the connect part and the youth education part. Thanks. Thank you very much, Margot. Just by way of introduction, my name is Yulinda Bechirai. I'm um, Maurice Vaughan, a senior research fellow on European law at the, Euro and the uh, Bingham Center for the Rule of Law, which, as you know, is part of the British Institute for International and Comparative Law, as we abbreviated it, BICO. So uh, thank you very much for joining this conference, the future of European uh, youth. Um, 
this, as Margot mentioned, was organized uh, in the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the London Leiden Conference. And we organized it this year um, as a Bickel Reconnect uh, project. So as a Bickel Reconnect conference. So I wanted by way of introduction, just to say a few words uh, of context as, um, as regards the, uh, the Reconnect project. Um, the, the topic of the, of the conference, the future of European youth is central to this uh, EU Horizon 2020 project where Bickle is one of the 18 partner organizations. The Reconnect Research Project, which uh, Reconnect is uh, an abbreviation because the full title of the project is Reconciling Europe with its citizens through democracy and the rule of law, um, is a four-year multidisciplinary project focusing on strengthening the EU's legitimacy throughout Europe and, thinking, and uh, seeking to assist the EU in becoming more attuned to the expectations of its citizens, including uh, and especially younger citizens. So uh, Bickel has a, uh, Bickel and the Bingham Center for the Rule of Law has a multifaceted role in the context of the Reconnect project. One of these roles involves, together with the University of Leuven, uh, the creation of a set of educational materials for young people living in the EU. Our uh, primary aim uh, with the series of uh, educational materials is to enable young people and educators to engage in uh, discussions about the EU and the rights of um, EU citizens and about the meaning and importance of concepts such as the rule of law, democracy, human rights. And this will be explained in more detail uh, today during one of the, um, of the panels. Um, as Margot already mentioned, there will be three panels. Um, so uh, without further ado, uh, let me give the floor back to Margot as the moderator of the first panel. Uh, thank you very much for joining and uh, for participating to the conversation to the discussions and conversations during uh, today's conference. Thank you. <laughs> 